Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today it's just me and Willow um, who's currently not talking to me. I've been on a little shopping spree. I've been to, I needed to go to Poundland and I needed to go to B&M. Um, and yeah, she's not my friend currently and I'll show you why in a minute why she's not my friend. But although she is still cuddling me so that's one thing. Um, so all I really needed from Poundland was um, some postage bags, you know, the little jiffy bags, whatever they're called. Um, we have, we, me and Isabel like to sell on Vinted, um, so I needed some jiffy bags to send some stuff. Um, so basically it should have cost me about £4. I came out £24 lighter. Um, I did go down the Valentine's aisle, which was quite nice. They had some really cute things, which one thing did make me laugh. It was an engagement ring for a pound. So if you're looking to propose to your other half, get yourself to Poundland. Um, it did make me chuckle, yeah, that was quite funny. Um, I'm going to show you the bits and bobs that I've got. So here up from Poundland is my first item. So they're just these little mailing bags that are just literally super cheap from there. Three for a pound, can't go wrong. So like I say, it should have cost me four pound, came out 24 pound lighter. So I got my, my bags, at least I remembered them because I've done it before. Or I go in and I forget what I actually went in for. Um, so yeah, that's, I got those. I got Isabel, a cute little, she keeps wanting to spray her hair on a morning before she goes to school. So I've got a cute little, little spray thing for her. Um, I've also got, which was really cool. I hate sellotape, I hate trying to get it off. I do have lots of um, eco tape, which is from a place called Babby Purr, um, which is an eco, sort of, they sell all sorts of, um, scandy clothing all sorts of bits and bobs and um, but i did get some of this just just for the vintage stuff just because i want to get it done quick and sent so i get my pennies and um, but yeah i got those they're cool and also and now i don't know how big these are i got three of these so in my dining room i've just rearranged I was a body shop consultant um, and I still am but I have lots of stock which I have now got rid of um, but I enjoy crafting so I've got a cry cut I might show you this one time um, and I enjoy making things with the cry cut so I rearranged Isabel's bedroom the other day and I um, stole one of the units from her I brought it downstairs and swapped it for my box unit that um, I use for body shop so now I have this little unit but it only has small little cubby holes for boxes so i saw these so these are 20 by 20 i think they were so these are slightly smaller but i thought it'd be perfect for my little craft stuff so i got three of them again they were a pound an absolute steal at a pound so some smaller boxes yeah they're 20 by 20 by 20 so there we go there i've got three of those in gray they did also have cream but i fancied gray because the unit is white so i thought cream would look a bit silly on it so I've got those to put my bits and bobs, my vinyl, my heat transfer vinyl and lots of other bits and bobs that I've got. So I think, oh no, I was going to say that was it from Pound Shop. I'm lying to you, it was not. The kids are always wanting to craft and things like that and I like crafting. So I got this cool print stick clear glue. So I thought that would be good to have in. Um, and the bog standard boring toothpaste because we're nearly out. We all need toothpaste. And then I went to B&M. So let me show you what I got from B&M. So next up was B&M. So I'll start with my gorgeous little baby, my Willow, who was currently in a mood with me. As you can see, she is wearing a brand new jumper. I don't know if you can see all the patterns on it. I did treat her, as usual, to a brand new jumper. It looks like this. Got it in a medium. The dog on there looks a similar size to Willow, or like it doesn't fit Willow like that. Um, yes, yeah, so I got her that, and, and, oh my god, you won't believe it, I have taken them off the cardboard thing, but, they had leg warmers to match, so yes, I did buy Willow leg warmers to match. I have actually put Willow in the leg warmers and her coat, which is why she's currently in a mood with me. I have taken the leg warmers off, but I will share the video of her wearing the leg warmers after I've finished talking to you, but it did make me chuckle. It was quite funny. She was walking like, oh, just so funny. And I, I can't believe it. So yeah, I will share that video of Willow now. Oh, how gorgeous do you look? Are you coming for a treat? Come here then. 
Why are you walking like that? Right, back to the B&M bargain. So, everybody is on a diet in January, aren't they? So, me and Gary are. We absolutely love these. So, like, the, the knockoff versions of um, the posher version. I can't think of the name of it. But we love these bars. And they're only 77 calories. So, I've got us those. And i got us chocolate. They are 80, though. But that's fine. We can deal with that. So, I've got us some of those. Then it's the time of year for coughs and culls and sneezes and whatever else. So I did get us some day and night flu. Everybody needs some of them in the cupboard for when they do feel poorly. But I got us, now it's the first time I've seen these, it is the Vicks Vapor Candles. So I bought two of them. Let me smell it, smell them and tell you if it smells like it. Oh man, it just smells like Vicks. It literally does smell like Vicks. A bit more candly, if that makes sense. But I just thought they'd be good to burn on an evening because the kids are coming home coughing and spluttering and, and whatever else. So I just thought they'd be great. So I've got two of those. And then boring stuff really, you know, lady shavers, mouthwash because it's cheaper than buying it elsewhere. And bog standard boring. Toilet products. Now these toilet products, I've never had these before. So I can't pop one of those um, tablets in the system because it's all a built-in toilet, which is lovely. I did try doing that once. I lifted the top up and it just plopped into like space, basically. It just went boof. It wasn't in the toilet at all because I can't get into the system without taking the whole panel off. So I thought these would be really good to try. So they are a toilet bowl fizz and fresh. You basically... Pop the tablets in, they fizz, you leave for 20 minutes and then you flush. Obviously these are by Astonish and they are eucalyptus fresh. They had three different flavours I think. Flavours, you're not going to eat them. Scents, three different scents but I'm a bit fussy with certain scents. I think one was lemony and I don't really like lemony. Um, and the other was like a, a floral one. So I went with this one because I thought this would be better. Um, and I'll let you know what I think to it. So that is it guys. The other bits and bobs that I got from Pound Shop I cannot discuss on here because Mr. Wilson will see that and obviously it might be to do with Valentine's. Um, but I will share with you the Valentine's bits and bobs that I bought after Valentine's Day. Um, but getting ahead of the game, being organised, how good am I? You probably won't even see this video so I don't know why I'm worried about it but I just thought it'd be nice to keep it as a surprise. As you can see Willow is currently in a mood with me still due to the fact that she's got a new jumper on which I will take off her in a minute um, so that's it really that's all the bits and bobs that I bought from B&M and Poundland but then I went to Argos to get something so I'm just going to show you that next so next up is this ginormous box this is from Argos so Gary and I were talking the other day about the fact that trying to get washing dry without using the dryer is a big pain in the butt so we decided to risk buying one of those errors, those heated errors. This one from Argos came with um, the heated error and a cover to go over it because I'd been trying a TikTok hack. Now the hack was you get your normal error, you put it around your radiator when you've got your radiators on and you cover it with a fitted sheet. Make sure you took it behind the radiator and took it round. It keeps the heat in and helps it dry quicker, which it really did work. So I thought, you know what? let's try it i think this worked out to be 24 pence please don't quote me per hour or was it 74 pence i don't know but it was so many pence per hour to have this on and i'll put the cover over it and we'll see what happens and see if it dries it quicker because we have these errors that you prop up and it doesn't do an awful lot it just basically doesn't dry it really winds me up and we have the errors we put them on and it does nothing so we thought, right, let's give it a go. So this is, this is a minky one um, and it's an electric, electric error. So I will pop a picture up of um, what, it lo what it looks like and, and I'll let you know, we'll come back to you and I'll let you know if we got on with it really well or if it was rubbish or whatever. This is my genuine, I've not been paid by anybody to say this. I This is just what I've bought to try and battle the drying washing saga because I feel like I end up using my dryer which with the cost of electricity at the moment is ridiculous so I think if I can try not to use the dryer as much this will help so like this one 
You could get one from Donnell, which was only £40, um, but it had no cover over it and it was £16 for the cover separately. So the one at Argos came with the cover and it was 55 So I felt like it was a pound cheaper. It all came in one and it should fit and it should work. So come back and see if we thought it was any good. Um, but that's it today, guys. This is the video from just me. No kids, no nothing. Um, and it was just my little, little sneaky shopping trip without anybody i went with my mum but without the kids without gary i do get a bit carried away and i can't help myself i did say to my mum i didn't really want to go to home bargains because i knew i would spend a fortune but hey we went anyway so anyway thanks for watching us and come back and see us soon bye this is it up and it looks really cool and um, slightly lower than a normal one it fitted a load of um washing a whole load this is the cover, it doesn't quite go to the floor but it still looks great and on the top of it it has air holes to let a bit of the air out. So here is the heated air up, um, it's got clothes on and it's got the cover on. Fingers crossed it will dry the washing quicker. Mm -hmm.